Well, I took a little bit of flack for the uh, Too Big for Deck video. Um, rightfully so. I welcomed it and invited it. Like, I told people to tear me apart by all means. So that's fine. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we're now over 500 subscribers. I wasn't as of Friday. I think that happened Friday after the video uploaded. So that was nice. Thank you everyone who subscribed. I really appreciate it. Um, the giveaway in the previous video ended up being a mystery key and it was Saints Row 4 that it ended up being. So congratulations to the winner that got that. Um, but anyway, so I just wanted to do this video more as a focus on just Resident Evil 4 because A, I own it and B, I can do kind of a repeatable test within reason reliably. Um, and then I can play around with the FSR settings and the UMA buffer and all that stuff. So we're going to get into it. Um, so for this testing, we're going to be testing 720p versus 800p, including SteamOS 3.4.6 versus 3.5 and versus FSR quality, balance, and performance. So there's 48 odd tests total that I did uh, for about two minutes each. It's the intro cutscene right up until you get to the chainsaw uh, cutscene. And as soon as the chainsaw cutscene triggers, I end the test. Um, in my last video, what I did, I did three runs and I just kind of did whatever I did best. So some I died, some I lived. So this one I perf purposely sorry, did two tests to do the chainsaw to have the same length of gameplay at least. So we'll get into the test results here. And there's some interesting things. Okay, getting into the results here. Again, the run was to do starting the benchmark as soon as I passed the door threshold into the little village area, and then do two laps around the bonfire, and then go into combat right around kind of in front of the bonfire in between the houses, not straying from that area, uh, not running around the map and going inside the houses, not picking up items because that would bring up the menu for certain items that I didn't pick up, so it would skew the results as well. Anyway, getting into the results, we can see here that for SteamOS 3.4.6 on FSR balanced 720p versus 800p, the top two runs are 720 and the bottom two runs are 800p, and the top half or above the black bar, sorry, is the 4GB and cryo utilities, 4GB uh, UMA frame buffer and cryo utilities installed and running at recommended uh, settings. And the bottom half is one gigabyte UMA frame buffer, no cryo t utilities, bone standard out of the box settings, essentially, what Digital Foundry was testing. As we're getting into the results here, so for FSR balance, 720p, 800p again, 3.4.6, we can see that running 4GB UMA frame buffer and cryo utilities, whether it's both and or one or the other, I didn't feel like testing, honestly, any longer than I did. I did 48 tests of this, uh, of this run. But anyway, so we can see here that the 4 gigabyte UMA frame buffer and the cryo utilities is getting consistently higher averages, at least in the FPS averages. The 1% lows and the 0.1% lows, the 0.1% the lows were a little bit better at times. And there's kind of this golden run right here where we had a 29.4 and a 27.5. That is a golden run and I say that because typically when Leon gets grabbed or when you're suplexing guys or knife deflecting or whatever there can be those little moments of stutter and frame drop and so that being high indicates that the moments of stutter and frame drop weren't as bad right as compared to the other runs so that's kind of like an outlier run but it's worth noting anyway but again the FPS average overall was lower than anything that we got on the 4 gigabyte cryo utilities. Now getting into SteamOS 3.5, this is where things kind of get interesting. So kind of already suspected that yes, playing with 4 gigabyte and cryo utilities in most games will get you a positive performance gain. But now, so switching over from 3.4.6 to 3.5, again, testing FSR balanced, we can see here that across the board, we're getting gains. 
So here we're 39 and above, whereas before, for the top half I'm talking about, sorry, before we were 38 and above. And we were 36, 37 for the one gigabyte no cryo utilities. Now again, we're 37, 38. And consistently, the 1% lows and the 0.1% lows, they were more consistent and higher. So flipping back and forth, SteamOS 3.5, we can see here 28, 28, 28. And then uh, for one gigabyte, sorry, we can see 25, 27, 26. But again, they were kind of all over the place. So whatever witchcraft is happening with SteamOS 3.5, I don't honestly know. There is an SMT bug that something that happens with SMT on in SteamOS 3.4.6, it doesn't work correctly or something. I haven't looked fully into it. I just know that there is a bug. And I've been able to produce that there is better results in SteamOS 3.5 in regards to emulation with Tears of the Kingdom. But now we can see that the same thing is happening with Resident Evil 4 Remake. So it's just worth noting that for some reason, SteamOS 3.5, whether due to optimizations or whatever, it's getting better results. And we can see as we go into, again, so 3.4.6, FSR performance, we are getting 39, 38, 38, 39 for uh, 4 gigabyte, and we're getting 38, 37. So they are fairly in line with each other, but again, a touch higher, more consistently for 4 gigabyte and cryo utilities. And the 1% lows were a little bit better as well in some runs but they are well fairly in line anyway. But again, switching over to SteamOS 3.5, we can see that now running four gigabyte plus cryo utilities, we're, above, we're 40 and above. Say for one run we were 39.9, but I'll round that up to 40 and say, you know what, whatever. Um, but the 1% lows were again, more consistent and higher as well. So for one run here, 29.8 was the 1% low, 0.1% low, 19.7. The 0.1% low, we got a good run here, 21, but 17, 15, 16. Again, just more consistent. And across the board, again, for one gigabyte, no cryo utilities, it's consistently higher. We're touching 39 now, which is what we were getting with four gigabyte and cryo utilities in SteamOS 3.4.6. But now getting into FSR quality for 3.4.6, we can see here that yes, running four gigabyte and cryo utilities is getting us a consistent performance increase, uh, at least for the FPS averages. The 1% lows were consistently better, I would say, for the one gigabyte and uh, no cryo utilities. So that's worth noting for 800p and for 700p. Now switching over to, or 720p, sorry, my apologies. Now switching over to SteamOS 3.5, we can see that there isn't really that kind of net positive increase across the board you know May, like it, again the one percent lows are brought up and they're a little bit more consistent the point one percent lows they got again so whatever is happening it's something i would suspect that it's something cpu related because the sm if it is the smt bug or whatever's going on with smt i don't know and I didn't, again, I didn't have time to test with SMT off and on because, again, I'm doing 48 tests here. Um, it's, it ha I would assume it has to do something with the CPU because as we're getting up higher at FSR quality, you can see that we're not getting that increase, right? So we're more kind of GPU bound, I would say, in those scenarios. So, whereas before we were more, say, CPU bound, right? Because we're running lower resolutions internally, right? At FSR performance and FSR balanced. So, again, I'm not, I'm not an expert at this. I just like doing benchmarks and kind of pointing out little differences here and there. But I would say that, yes, running 4 gigabyte cryo utilities does get you a positive performance increase in Resident Evil 4. At the same time running SteamOS 3.5 gets you a positive increase across the board. So I guess there's good things to look forward to in SteamOS 3.5. We can expect better performance across the board in certain titles. I'm going to be testing more titles. Um, I'm probably going to do Spider-Man or uh, uh, 
I don't know, something. <laughs> we'll figure it out. But anyway, um, that'll do it for this one. If you guys have any feedback, if you want me to test certain things, let me know. Uh, if you want me to test certain games, uh, certain emulators, certain emulated games, whatever, fire it off in the comments what you guys want to see. There's exciting things coming up. Um, the, a company has contacted me to do a product review. And it's not actually a like a, a scam company or anything like that. So look forward to that. Looking like maybe the end of June that that might happen. So if you want, subscribe and then you can see what's happening and then unsubscribe when it when I get it in hands and do the review and everything. Um, by all means, up to you. But again, thank you for subscribing if you had. Thank you for thumbs up, all the comments, the positive and the critical. Um, honestly, more so pos like the, the critical because that's how I can make better videos, right? So anyway, that'll do it for this one. Thanks, guys.